Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where we simplify statistics and data analysis. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our tutorials. Alright, so today we are diving into MANOVA. So MANOVA is a powerful statistical test for analyzing multiple dependent variables at once. By the end of this video, you will know what MANOVA is, its assumption, when to use it, and how to perform MANOVA using SPSS. So let's get started. What is MANOVA? MANOVA stands for Multivariate Analysis of Variance. Now, while a regular ANOVA test tests for differences in means for one dependent variable, MANOVA, on the other hand, extends this test to multiple dependent variables simultaneously across groups of independent variables. For example, let's say you are testing the effect of drugs on patients. You may measure multiple outcomes like blood pressure, cholesterol, and heart rate. Instead of running separate and overs, MANOVA allows you to assess all these dependent variables at once. So, when to use MANOVA? So, you should use MANOVA when you have one or more independent variables that are categorical and two, when you have two or more dependent variables that are continuous and related to each other. So, continuous in the case you are having um, both whole numbers and the fractions in decimal numbers. So, so those are continuous um, uh, the, when you say variables are continuous that's what it means so also if you want to determine if there is a difference between groups across multiple outcomes so for the purpose of this tutorial imagine you are testing three treatments control treatment a and uh, treatment b to see how they impact blood pressure cholesterol and um, body mass index so instead of running three separate tests, MANOVA combines them into one. So what are the assumptions of MANOVA? So before running a MANOVA, MANOVA, you need to ensure the following assumptions are met. So the first one is normality. So each dependent variable should be normally distributed within each group. So while we do this tutorial, we are going to check for that. So you can test this using the sharp rule. Wilk or Kolmogorov's name of the name of tests, all right, and also homogeneity of variance and covariance. The variance and covariance should be equal across the groups, and uh, we can. Uh, another assumption is linearity, so the dependent variable should have linear relationship. So, the fourth assumption is no multicollinearity collinearity so the dependent variable should not be too highly cor uh, correlated so that is the no multiple collinearity then the fifth assumption is independence so the, the observations must be independent of each other all right so if your data meets this assumption okay then you can now proceed to the manova um, test so quickly uh, we are going to do that and for that, we are going to use the examples as stated above. So we are having the age of the respondents, their sex coded at zero for male and one for female, and their blood pressure. So the blood pressure, cholesterol, body mass index, these are and heart rate. So these are dependent variable, and we have the groups here. So let's go under our variable view and see what is there so under our variable view we are having the age the age here is uh age and numerical values okay so the sex we are having zero for male one for female and then the dependent variables then under group we have coded zero to be control one to be treatment a and two to be treatment B. 
all right so this is what we're having under groups all right so now let's go under data view so data view i've inserted data that i would use for the purpose of this tutorial okay so you can actually put a random data here while you're doing yours on your system your either laptop or desktop so now let's quickly go to analyze general linear model not univariate we are going we are making use of the multivariate here so under the multivariate i will move my dependence variables under this box so my independent my dependent variables are blood pressure cholesterol body mass index and heart rate so i'll move it under here so the fixed factors um for the a for the age for the sex sorry and the, the group so the sex and the group so the age here is a covariate so since we are running a multivariate analysis we might not necessarily look at this because the purpose is to examine the multivariate effect of the predators as well as the interaction so we might not really look at this so now let's go to post hoc so for the for the put post hoc we are going to move the group here and we are going to be using a bone ferroni um test here that's what we are going to be using for our post hoc all right so after that i will click continue then under option i would click uh this check this box for homogeneity of um, homogeneity test okay so if i wish to obtain the uh, descriptive statistics for this i would check this box here okay so i move this here then continue and after which i would click ok So here is my results. This is my descriptive statistics. So, and um, if I go down here, I will see the 11 steps of equality of error variance. So let's quickly interpret this. From the 11 steps, you would see that the blood pressure, cholesterol, body mass index, and heart rate, you see that, look at the p values here, they are all greater than 0 0.05. And under it, you see that test the null hypothesis that the error variance of the dependent variable is equal to is equal across groups. So that is what the null hypothesis is saying. So since our p-value is greater than 0 0.05, we are going to fail to reject the null hypothesis. And this is telling us that yes, our this assumption is met. So now let me go to the multivariate test. We're having the p lie trace, the wills lambda, lambda, the the hoteling trace and Roy's largest truth. So these are what we are going to be using, uh, interpreting uh, for the purpose of this tutorial under multivariate analysis. All right. So for the intercept, you will see that all the um, tests here, the four tests here, are all significant, and they are showing um, a highly significant value. So you see. So meaning that intercept significantly influences the dependent variable. That is what this is saying. Now, when you go under sex, sex, you see that all of them here, all the tests here, are not significant, indicating that sex do not have a significant multivariate effect. Under group, you would also find that the, the, the p-values are all greater than 0 0.05, which is also indicating that group group effect is not significant across the all tests all these tests here then you go to the interaction the interaction between sex and group you would now see that we have that the p values are slightly less than 0 0.05 so this is telling us that the interaction between sex and uh, group has small but statistical significant multivariate effects on the dependent variable all right so now let's go down to the next test we need to interpret which is the tests of between subjects effect 
So the test of between subject effects, the purpose is to analyze the effects of the predators on each of the dependent variables. So the dependent variables here are the blood pressure, cholesterol, body mass index, heart rate. So when you look at the intercept, you see that the intercepts here are all greater than 0 0.05. So we say that the intercept effect is significant for all variables, showing a baseline influence. So now let's go to sex. We would see that okay from for sex for all the dependence variables all the piece values here are greater than 0 0.05 so since they are greater than 0 0.05 we say that no significant effect for blood pressure cholesterol body mass or heart um, rate so here there is no significant effect for the groups also on that group also you can see that all the dependence variables do not show are all greater than 0 0.05 therefore they are not significant now the interaction between sex and group here yeah, we would observe that the interaction between sex and group just cholesterol is significant why the other in the, the other uh, dependent variables are not so it is significant because it is less than 0 0.05 why the others are greater than 0 0.05 all right, so that is that for that. So now let's go to so the estimated uh, marginal mean here. All right, so this just these these values here provides an overview of the average outcome for the entire sample. That's what we have here, average outcome of the entire sample. So you see the mean for blood pressure, cholesterol, body mass. You see them here. Their standard errors as well as their confidence interval. So now let's go to the the post hoc test here and um, remember while we were running the analysis here in, in SPSS we made use of the Bonferroni post hoc test okay so this is the result so let's quickly look at it so now if you look at this for control versus treatment A here it is not significant control versus treatment B not significant so when you look at this um, cell here you see that all of them here are not significant so we conclude that there is no significant difference in blood pressure among the groups since their p-value here are all greater than 0 0.05 so let's go to cholesterol cholesterol also they are all greater than the p-values here are all greater than 0 0.05 so for cholesterol, we also say that no significant difference exists in cholesterol levels between the groups. So now let's look at body mass. Body mass, let's look at it, okay. For body mass also, they are all greater than 0 0.05. So we also conclude that body mass index differences across the groups are not statistically significant. Then let's go and look at um, heart rate. So for heart rate, okay, you can see that they are all here greater than 0 0.05. And uh, therefore, we say that heart rate differences between groups are not uh, significant. So an overall summary of this post hoc test will be for all four independent, for, sorry, for all four dependent variables. So the variables include the blood pressure, cholesterol, body mass index, and heart rate. The pairwise comparison using a, a Bonferroni test do not reveal any statistical significant difference between control, treatment A, and treatment B groups. This indicates that the treatment did not produce measurable differences in the observed variable. So, so that is that is that for the interpretation. If uh, uh, okay, so that is that for the interpretation. So we can actually take a, we can take a summary of all the findings here. So um, from the results here, you would observe that um, the interaction between sex and group significantly impacts cholesterol, cholesterol level, but not the other de uh, dependent variable. So that is one of the observations we observed from our data. Also, neither sex nor group individually has a uh, significant effect on any of the dependent variables. So we can see that here. Okay, now also the intercepts. Here, the intercepts consistently 
is consistently significant across all tests all tests indicating a strong baseline influence so you see that the intercept here is significant across all the dependent variables okay all right so we can at the end of this we can actually do a suggestion uh, that's a suggestion because from the interaction we are having um, a significance for cholesterol all right so we can we can look for that we can move further to look at uh, the interaction effect on cholesterol guys if the if need be all right so why the other dependent variables uh, from the result here are having little or uh, don't the influence here are just very little okay so but we can actually ex go further to explore the further interaction for the cholesterol so we can actually run an ANOVA to look at that okay so basically that is that is what we are having here for today for you that's what i'm having for you guys today so if you have any question if you have any um um any any other thing you want us to i want me to put you through it you can drop your your concern in the comment section and also if you find uh, if you found this if you find this uh, video helpful please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends okay and let me know in the comment section if you want tutorials on other statistical tests okay so and also do not do not forget to subscribe for more practical data analysis so thanks for watching and um, see you in the next video